Is your man an alpha male or a beta male? The answer is neither because it's totally made up. Not just for humans, like it's made up in wolves and it's made up everywhere else, it's made up. Welcome to part six of man science, where we expose the ridiculous things that we still believe today because of some very sloppy shoddy man science done by dudes. So it's 1950 and this guy named Rudolph observes in a zoo, a completely randomly thrown together, not family, not a pack at all, of wolves put together. And he noticed that one of the male wolves was being more aggressive than the others. And Rudolph, because he wanted to feel special, is like, ooh, that's an alpha male. That's like what I want to be. And it caught on like wildfire, like all of these other bros. I'm so excited about this idea of like, yeah, alpha male, battle for the top. And then the biologist David Metch did what a lot of dudes do, which is like, hey, a man said it before, it must be true. But props to David, because he realized pretty quickly, this is a completely made up thing. And so many dudes are latching onto it as some excuse that nature gives them permission to just be awful. He spent 13 years trying to debunk the alpha male myth, but man science was like, no, we like to believe. The super damaging concept of like, all the males must battle till there's a top male and then he takes anything he wants has been projected onto literally the cellular level with the egg and all the little squirmies and like battle till the end. Or imagining that all these dudes in nature battle for the female, which is also totally made up. In fact, the biggest factor, what's actually happening, is women choosing what they want and shaping all of society and nature because of what they like. And we're gonna talk about that next.